Hello, it's Mary Beth, and I want to introduce my brand new periodic table stencils to you. You might find this kind of a misnomer since I'm, I'm not a scientist, and um, I don't intend to actually use these for anything scientific, but I do know lots of people who want these for scientific reasons. So here's one of them, and then here is the opposite of this one. Here's the deal, you could use this one and put the borders on. And then you could lay this one down and put different colors in each block. And then this one is the one that I wanted just because I wanted a weird little floppy one to use on the gel, the gel plate. And I kind of wanted this framework also to use on the gel plate. So. I did three of them. I know it's possibly excessive. We shall see. But for this one, I had the intent that you would just um, cut away these little holding marks. And I'm maybe even gonna leave that little line on, see that little bit there? I think I'm just gonna leave that there because that's how weird I am. You could, of course, do whatever you wanted. The idea to just make squares is pretty appealing to me. So I'm going to show you a few things that I had in mind to do with these, and then you can consider them and do whatever you want with them because there is every which way you can go here. All right, I've got some paper and a sponge, and I've even got some tape. The reason I have tape is sometimes when we utilize the whole stencil like this, it's hard to hold on to these two edges. So for this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape it off, both ends of it. So I'm gonna take the tape and take it the length, right like that, and then just tear it. All right, and then, see how it is right there? And then I'm gonna fold it down so that there's no stickiness left. And then I'm gonna cut the ends off. This one, there's not much to cut really. And I've made a little holding, a little holding handle for it. And I think that that makes it a lot easier um, to use. This is the one that it's gonna make the little squares, okay? So I'm gonna grab some squares or some paint here. Let me get some, get my palette out. I'm using a sponge like I normally do. And I'm just gonna pounce up and down, up and down. Easy, 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 easy. I, as you know, am grid obsessed. So here is the lovely little motif you get going there, right? Love, 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 love. All right, so now this one then, you can just lay down, right? Put the squares right over top. Now, if you want, since I got the tape out, I might as well just tape it down there so that it doesn't move around. Let's see here, get it all lined up. Since we're showing it, let's do it perfectly, right? Okay, there we go. And I will just put that piece of tape there as a holding spot. Let's see, let's use the aqua because I think that'll show up as a better contrast with that sour grapes color. And again, I'll just pounce with my little sponge. take a look and see. Oh yeah, look at that. And look at how pretty that is with the color. I really like that a lot. Here we go. I really like the idea of making these random, you know, these edgings on things. Like even in my journal page or wherever it is, I could just see just butting this up to the edge and using it I think it would make such a, just a cool and different little edge treatment, right? 
because especially because there's those little those little parts there and that's the kind of thing I I really like in my work is to put these little random look at how nice that is it may and see how the line it creates this little linear parts right within there so anyway those are some ideas of what you can do and then this little guy you could just go all around this little guy when you cut it out separately like that look at how easy that is and how refined those edges are love 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 this is going to be one of my favorites and i doubt if it'll ever be a periodic table but if you want a periodic table here's a periodic table hope you enjoy these new stencils by stencil girl products